Americans love nachos. Well, this American certainly does. From baseball games to convenience stores, it's an iconic food that is cheap and easy to come by. I reach into the trash can and take out whatever's on top. I mean, just look at those crunchy golden tortilla chips slathered with gooey cheese. <sighs> sometimes it's liquid and orange, and sometimes it's melty and stringy. They can have toppings like meat, guacamole, and sour cream. Even beans and jalapenos have made an appearance. I don't know about you, but I'm getting hungry. I gotta get out of here! Nachos! So who was the genius behind this delicious culinary pastime? Was it someone from Taco Bell? Was it Texas concession food magnate Frank Liberto? Or was it the maitre d' of a restaurant in Mexico? Keep watching to find out where this mouth-watering dish began. While nachos are a very popular item at the fast food chain Taco Bell, let's just eliminate one choice right off the bat by saying it did not invent nachos. Nachos were invented almost 20 years before Taco Bell was founded, so we'll have to go back a little further. Let's talk about Frank Liberto, dubbed the father of nachos. Liberto was a Texas businessman who founded the Rico's Products Company based in San Antonio. It manufactured cheese sauces, tortilla chips, and snow cone syrups, among other processed foods. Liberto came up with the idea of draping its processed cheese sauce over tortilla chips. This sauce was unique because it has a long shelf life, doesn't need to be refrigerated, and stays liquid, letting you pump it out as fast as people order it. The cheese sauce contains sodium citrate, which lowers the cheese's acidity and helps the proteins dissolve. In 1976, Liberto introduced his creation, which he called Ballpark Nachos, at a Texas Rangers baseball game. They were a hit. In 1977, he sold his nachos at a Dallas Cowboys football game, where they were also a smashing success. What's a good Spanish word? Bien! It didn't take long before Ballpark Nachos became a snack staple at sporting events, music venues, and movie theaters across the U.S. Though Liberto is credited with creating ballpark nachos, the title inventor of nachos belongs to another man. Let's visit the Mexican city of Piedras Negras near the Texas border. It's close to a U.S. military base called Fort Duncan. Many of the soldiers' wives who lived there shopped in the nearby town of Eagle Pass. And in 1943, something fortuitous happened. Looking for a place to eat lunch, some of the women wandered into a restaurant called the Victory Club. There, they were greeted by maitre d' Ignacio Anaya, who decided to create a special dish just for them. Anaya cut corn tortillas into triangular pieces, fried them, then topped them with shredded Colby cheese and slices of pickled jalapenos. He baked the dish until the cheese melted and used his nickname, Nacho, to dub them Nachos Especiales. The women loved his first ever plate of nachos and returned for more. Eventually, it inspired Anaya to move to Eagle Pass and open a restaurant called Nachos. The recipe became so popular that it got included in an Eagle Pass church cookbook. Unfortunately, Anaya could not legally claim to have invented nachos. His son, Anaya Jr., spoke to a lawyer who told him that after 17 years, nachos were in the public domain. Bummer. Since Anaya first invented nachos, the dish has evolved. While some sellers top them with traditional Mexican cheeses like cotija or queso Oaxaca, most restaurants use cheddar, Colby, or Monterey Jack, created in Monterey, California in the 1700s. But although most people had no idea where they came from, nachos quickly became part of American culture. I'm about to eat nachos! In 1966, the Frito-Lay company created Doritos, the Spanish word for little golden things. And its nacho cheese flavor is still a beloved snack food to this day. Do you 
want to take the rest of those nachos? Yeah, I do. Thank you. While Anaya invented nachos, Liberto's Americanized ballpark nachos led to the popular fusion food known as Tex-Mex. And Tex-Mex led to the creation of popular fast food chains like Taco Bell. So now we've come full circle. If you're especially into that orange salty processed cheese, maybe you should check out the history behind the powdered cheese on Cheesy Puffs on another episode of Origins of Food.